Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Bryce from Coin Chronicles. I hope you are doing well. Today we will take a look at two coins from the year 1889 as well as study some of the history and events of the year. We will look at both coins and the important details such as mintage, grading, and inflationary value or purchasing power of the time. First, let's take a look at the characteristics of the 1889 Morgan Silver Dollar. The 1889 Morgan Silver Dollar was minted in Philadelphia and has a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. It has a composition of 90% silver and 10% copper, and its designer was George T. Morgan. Its mintage is 21726000 Its inflation value is $32.81 for the year 1889, and the numismatic values range from $43 in good condition to $300 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1889 Morgan Silver Dollar from my collection. So as we take a look at this 1889 Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that it is in excellent shape with clear details such as seen in the hair, the flowers, and the leaves. It does have some light scratches on the face, slightly affecting the details. While these scratches are barely visible, it appears that they are only minor, showing the age and character of the coin. Also, it appears that the coin has clean letters and date near the rim. Now, as we turn the coin over to the reverse, we can see a similar condition to the obverse side as the eagle's breast feathers are still noticeable, and the finer details such as the talons and wings are fairly clear. The backdrop on the reverse side is also clean, just as seen on the obverse side. The outlines are all deep and clean. Overall, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about uncirculated condition. Now we will take a look at the characteristics of the 1889 Indian Head Scent. The 1889 Indian Head Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. It has a composition of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. And the designer was James B. Longacre. Its mintage is 48,866,025. Its inflationary value is 33 cents for the year 1889. And the numismatic values range from $3 in good condition to $80 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1889 Indian Head Scent from my collection. So as we take a look at this 1889 Indian Head Scent, we can see that the coin has some slight wear on the obverse side. However, the wear has not affected the greater details such as the words and date around the rim and the face and feathers. The only detail that is slightly worn off is the liberty on the tiara. So while the coin has some wear, most of the details are not affected. Now when we turn the coin over to the back, we can see a similar worn condition as the finer details on the shield and wreath are still visible with clean outlines and toning giving this coin character. The words one cent are still very clear and the inner reading lines on the rim still exist. Therefore, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very fine condition. Now we will look at some of the history and key events from the year 1889. First, in 1889, Benjamin Harrison was sworn in as the 23rd President of the United States. Columbia Records was founded in Washington, D.C., and the Secretary of Agriculture is raised to a cabinet-level position. On May 31, 1889, the South Fork Dam collapsed in western Pennsylvania, killing more than 2,200 people near the city of Johnstown. On July 7, 1889, the Great Bakersfield Fire destroyed 196 buildings and killed one person. Also in 1889, the first issue of the Wall Street Journal was published in New York City, and North and South Dakota become the 39th and 40th states, 
while Montana and Washington become the 41st and 42nd states. The flexible flyer is invented as well as the payphone. Also, the famous song, The Washington Post March, is composed by John Philip Sousa. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. For more videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Keep on collecting and have a great day.